But we begin with that breaking news first. Fighter jets were scrambled when an airliner headed to Europe was forced to return to the U.S. And thankfully it turned out to be a false alarm, but the incident shows once again how on edge we've become about flying. Mm. Here's ABC's Jim Avila. Tense moments over the Atlantic for a United Airlines jumbo jet heading from Newark to Geneva, Switzerland. An event that shows us just how on edge or how on alert airline crews are these days. Less than two hours into the flight, a flight attendant noticed a camera stuffed into the compartment on the back of an empty seat. After asking passengers if it belonged to anyone on board, the flight attendant told the pilot, who according to the TSA, out of an abundance of caution, decided to turn around and escorted by fighter jets, which is routine in this type of scenario, landed at the closest airport, Boston's Logan Field. There, passengers were rescreened and the camera inspected by security agents. Why would an abandoned camera cause this type of reaction? Altering a flight, delaying passengers, and costing the airline thousands of dollars? We do know that security officials believe terrorists have been searching for new ways to get devices past the TSA, and intelligence officials believe the man behind the underwear bombing was trying at one time to develop a way to hide a bomb in a camera. This flight attendant and pilot thought they may have stumbled onto something. But it was nothing more than someone's now missing vacation pictures. In fact, United says they now have traced the errant camera to a passenger on an earlier flight aboard that same plane. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington. All right, thank you, Jim. And another airline scare, this one caused by one of those now infamous bird strikes. A United flight landed safely after colliding with a bird as the plane descended into the airport in Denver. Well, check it out. The impact actually tore a huge diamond-shaped hole right there in the nose of the aircraft, but there were no injuries on board. You just don't think a bird could puncture a plane. Am I really kind of stunned by the force of that? I'm stunned. I can't wow. believe it. I don't think we, when, when Captain Sully had to uh, navigate his plane onto the Hudson, Hudson River, yeah. I don't think we saw pictures of, of, of sort of that type of no. huge hole in the plane. You think right? a plane would just kind of plow over a bird, yeah. but instead of bird kind of, it's, it's, it's amazing. So I'm not an engineer, so no. <laughs> but it's a startling picture there.